Welcome to episode one of Higgs TV, people. Today I'm going to be talking about speed training for dummies. So guys, what I'm going to be referencing today is a diagram called the force velocity curve. So I'll pop that up there beside my head. Now, in order to understand how to incorporate speed training into your own regimen, you're going to have to have a look at this. So I'm going to explain some points on it that are relevant to us. So at the bottom of the list, or the curve, towards the velocity side, you have pure speed. At the top, you have max strength. Now, these two work intrinsically, right? So in order to be stronger, you have to get faster. And as Charlie Francis said, who's a famous sprint coach, in order to get faster, you need to produce more force, which in other words means you need to get stronger. How is this relevant to us? Right, so I'll start with pure speed. So pure speed would be something like sprinting. So hopefully a picture of something pops up there, and that will be our sprinting. Now, how do you get better at sprinting? You sprint. You must learn how to sprint. Now, any decent strength coach will teach his players, like if you're playing rugby, you're playing football, you're part of an athletic team. If the coach is in any way decent, he will show you. For us lifters who don't play games, bro, sprinting is not that relevant to us, okay? It's what's in the middle of the curve that's what's important to us, okay? So I'll move on. Speed strength is the next thing on the list. How do we train it? Box jumps, plyo push-ups, plyometrics, anything like that. Reps and sets. So you want to be doing five to 10 sets of two to three reps with a load of rest. This should not tire you out in any way, you're looking for quality over quantity. Fellas, I'm ready to get up and do my thing. Go ahead, go ahead. I want to get into it, man, you know. Go ahead. Like, a, like a sex machine, man. Yeah. Moving, doing it, you know. Yeah. Can I count it off? Next up on the curve, as we're producing more force, we get into something called strength speed. To simplify it, you could call it explosive strength. What is it? Strength speed or explosive strength is strength expressed in conditions of speed, right? A good example of explosive strength would be Olympic lifting. Now, Olympic lifting is a sport within itself. It's highly technical and the lifters make it look effortless. So, for me and you, we think we step into the gym. Yeah, I'm going to get explosive. I'm going to start doing clean and jerks. I'm going to start doing snatches. Wrong. It's not going to work. Unless someone is coaching you how to do them, it takes a lot of time to perform these exercises with the right efficiency to get the benefit you're looking for. What's an easier route for improving explosive strength? Well, you can use something called submaximal training. Submaximal training is used in the powerlifting world. It's also known in the powerlifting world as the dynamic method coined by Louis Simmons, the West Side Barbell Coach. What is the dynamic method? The dynamic method is lightweight or sub-maximal weight lifted explosively in order to increase force production. Which basically means we're lifting light weights very fast in order to get stronger. As I said, speed and strength work intrinsically. How do we train it? Well, take a classical lift like a bench press, a deadlift, a squat. Reduce the load significantly so it's not heavy. Say, if you squat 100 kilos, which is a pretty pathetic squat, but anyway, if you squat 100 kilos, you're going to take 50 kilos. You're going to do it two to three times. Take as much rest as you need and do that for eight sets. You could do it from 6 to 10, obviously is the range, but usually I do it for about 8 sets on my speed days. Yeah. It has come to our attention that a mysterious force is loose somewhere in outer space. The mysteries of creation are there. Up in the sky? Up in the sky. The moon and the planets are there. And new hopes for knowledge and peace are there. And therefore, as we set sail, we ask God's blessing on the most hazardous...
Using this method, you can get very fast and very, very, very efficient at your lips. Guys, that's my video on speed training and how to incorporate it into your own regimen. I hope you enjoyed it, um, and I'll catch up with you soon. Thanks a million for watching.